Dave, we're at the EMC record-breaking launch event, 41 new products, big data, big theme. They left no stone unturned. Moving data, fast data, backing up data, you know, the data domain, VMAX, VNE, they got it all. Well, the, the reality is this is where a lot of a lot of legacy products here, right? The symmetric stuff, the ingenuity was great, all through software. The VNX bringing together two legacy platforms. VNXE, brand new, blank sheet of paper. What EMC did is they brought in Isilon into the equation to create that metaphor of big data. That's new because EMC just bought Isilon. So it's really, we're seeing the confluence of traditional enterprise data and big data and cloud. EMC's really upping their game in terms of marketing, the positioning. I mean, they got a whole portfolio, entry level, mid range, high end, across the board on big data products, backup. I mean, the competition's got to be feeling the heat. Well, these guys are so good at marketing. They were good before Jeremy Burton came here, and this was a lot of in your face stuff, but a lot of fun. They had a blast with it. The whole record breaking theme, it's going gonna, it's gonna to piss off a lot of the competition. I mean, the heat's pretty strong. Yeah, EMC is coming out swinging. Well, you know, the VNXE is very interesting to me because that's a low-end product. You saw they had the price points under 10000 going after Dell, going after NetApp, going after IBM, going after HP. What do you think NetApp's going to do? You think NetApp's going to have to cut their prices on their low-end products? Absolutely. We're here at the New York City Equitable Office, big client of EMC in the theater, record-breaking announcement. Uh, that's the theme for, we're going to hear from EMC probably the whole year, record-breaking. So let's see what they do. Well. You know, I, I say, in technology, there's always the leapfrog game, right? Anybody can always say, hey, we're the fastest, we're the best. The brilliance of this announcement, in my opinion, was the marketing of it, the positioning of it, how they packaged it all, the big deal they made out of it beforehand. Everybody's talking about it. You know, a lot of people in the competition don't like it. A lot of the blogosphere is down on it. Hey, if people are talking about it, that's good press. They did a good job on the presentation. A lot of sizzle, but they brought some steak out here. They brought this show, the products. Uh, Pat Gelsinger and Joe Tucci really knocking it out of the park. Well, I was talking to a few customers in the audience. There's, there's definitely a great reception for these products, even though it's a lot of as what I call legacy products now packaged together in an easier to use format. EMC customers love it because they don't want to switch. They, they like EMC. They're happy with EMC. So as, as long as EMC keeps moving that bar, they're going to keep those customers as long as they do a good job with them on the service side, and we know they do. Yeah, and NetApp's going to be out there. Oh, we have leadership, and you know, try to argue the speeds and feeds on the merits of the you know, point technologies. But EMC really knocks it out of the park on the packaging. They really simplified their software, their product portfolio. I mean, what's your angle on that? Well, my angle is that the NetApp's a whole different ball game, right? They're much more of a pure play storage company. They're growing faster than any company in the industry, so they can keep doing their thing for a while. You know, at some point they probably hit a wall. EMC's a portfolio company, and the key to EMC, as we've said all along, is VMware. And they drop it in the new acquisitions. They had Isilon fits beautifully. They got Green Plum for the data analytics. I mean, they got the whole package. Well, we did a little bit of research at the end of the year, and basically EMC's core value, in other words, the value when you strip out VMware, their ownership, 80% ownership of VMware, EMC's core value actually dropped last year, which is kind of absurd when you think about it. Companies growing, throwing off a bunch of free cash flow. So what EMC's doing and has to do is buy companies that are growth companies, data domain, Isilon, Green Plum, huge upside potential. So they got to get the street to believe that that is a growth plan, and I think it is. Personally, I think EMC is undervalued as a stock right now. And Joe Tucci actually just, you know, at the analyst meeting yesterday, split it right down the middle and said, you know, we're basically investing the same amount in R&D as we are in the acquisitions. So they're hedging. they got R&D going on, but to go speed, they go acquisitions. Well, you got to have a combination of both R&D is, 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 is good, but it's risky. Acquisitions are, especially when you're acquiring a proven company like Data Domain, or Isilon. Those acquisitions aren't that risky. They're expensive, but you know what? That's a better use of cash, in my opinion, than buying back shares. I'm thinking uh, this is going to be a big data year for everybody. And I think the big thing that's going to come out of this year is what is the definition of big data? Joe Tucci kind of simpl simplifies it a little bit, but it's really complex. I think we're going to see a lot of definition of big data. What is big data? They bring up the notion of smart data. So uh, yeah, what's your angle on that for the year, you think, for big data? Well, it's not just about storage, right? You've got to have the applications on top of it, right? You've got to have the ability to, yes, store it and yes, process it, but also analyze it and then act on it. So we got to have to see a lot more visualization technologies. And there are a lot of companies out there. We saw some at Hadoop World. So it's a big ecosystem that it's emerging. It's not just about storage. We're here in New York City with this big data, big announcements, record-breaking everything. It's a year of big data. Dave, we'll be covering like a blanket at siliconangle.com and wikibon.org. We're a place where all the content is, is out there. It's smart data. We got it. We're free. We're going to have a good time. All right, it's good to be here with you, John, and uh, thanks, everybody, for watching.